The next thing I would like to show you is how to include a transition from scene to scene. Photoshop has a limited range of things that you can do, and it, it's fun to play around with it and get a little bit of a nice touch. So the five things that you've got are fade, crossfade, fade with black, fade with white, and fade with a color. Now, if you take this into some other program like Premiere Pro or After Effects, the fades you can get, excuse me, the transitions you can get are so much more in, intense and beautiful and beautiful and gorgeous. But keep in mind, Photoshop's capabilities in video are limited. So this is what you get. <laughs> but let's look at what they are. The first one is a very simple fade, and that just is uh, playing around with opacity, okay? So to work with it, all you do is you click and you drag it to wherever you want it to be. So here I drug it down to the very front of Country Girl, and this is what it's going to look like. And it just fades in. Now you can change that, right? If you want it to be someplace else, if you want it to be a little bit longer, excuse me, you can make it fade in more subtly. Just like that. If you want it to fade in over a shorter amount of time, you just click and drag. I'm going to Command Z or Control Z to get rid of that. I was playing around with this a little bit earlier. <laughs> okay, so let's play around with some more of those. So the, the fades depend on where you they depend on where you put them. So I can drag this to the right hand side, and Photoshop knows that I want to fade out rather than fade in. You see how the slope goes this way? It fades out. Okay. What's the next one here? The next one is a crossfade. So this is what you use when you want to fade between two different clips. I'm going to put it over those two. And you notice how the, the videos kind of jump together a little bit? That's, ex that's what you want. There we go. So it's kind of like stitching them together. So they are overlapping videos just a little bit and one fades into another. And that's actually really nice. Yeah, that's really nice. Okay, I'm going to undo that one. And what's the next one? Fade with black. So let's look at that. I'm going to drag that out. So it'll be a fade in here. Very common at the beginning or at the very end. Let's undo that one. Command Z. Fade with white. Again, very common. Oh, sorry, wrong spot. I have to make sure my playhead is at the beginning. Yeah, that's nice too. Command Z to undo the beginning. And our final one is fade with a color. So if I want to choose a color, this is kind of fun too. Like if I want some of this nice, beautiful warmth here, let's try that. And we'll drag that in here at the beginning. That may be a little much, we'll see. Yeah, it's a little much. All right. I like the whites or the blacks. But that's basically what those fades are. So you can put them at the beginning of a clip, at the end of a clip, or you can use that crossfade to blend two clips together. And I like that for, you know, for the middle of something. The the trick with your with your transitions is to pick one and stick with it, especially if you're in the middle of something, okay? I would stick with the crossfades for something that's in the middle. For your beginning, I would I would do something like fade with black, but then also I would stick with that at the very end as well. Keep it simple and keep it consistent. Okay, I hope you enjoyed seeing those.